What is up, everyone? It is your boy, SH Sizzle Blaze, coming at you guys with another video. I'm super excited about this video in particular because this is a topic that a lot of people ask me when I'm doing my fangan streams. When I'm reacting to fangans, people are like, Blaze, what is your what is the talent that you want to see in the next Danganronpa game? And I'm like, I don't know off the top of my head. Like, <laughs> I can't really tell you guys. So I was like, you know what? Let me make a more modern version of this video because the last video that I made talking about talents that I wanted to see in a new game was way back four to five years ago. And that was before V3 had come out because I was speculating on the talents that I wanted to see in V3 at that time. So I think... I personally think there's going to be another Danganronpa game. There's a lot of hinting towards it. I think it's going to happen. There's a lot of other creators that think it's going to happen. Also, we're all on the same page. Trust me, there's going to be another Danganronpa game for sure. Is it going to be a classic Danganronpa game like the ones that we're used to, the formula that we like? I don't know. It might just be, you know, another spinoff game. Who knows? But I think after Decadence, we're going to get another main series title or spinoff game. For sure. So if we were to get another main series game that is the formula that we're all used to, these are the talents that I want to see in that particular game. But before we jump into the talents, please hit that like button. I would truly appreciate it. Every like, every comment, and every subscribe helps your boy in the YouTube algorithm, all right? It is hell out here. Creators are struggling, all right? So we, we need all the help that we can get from you guys, and we truly appreciate it, all the small things that you guys do for us. You are amazing. Welcome to the Ultimates. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate you and would love to have you in our small, wholesome community here, okay? Let's jump into the video. All right, so number five on my list is the Ultimate DJ. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one that I have wanted for years. I still want it. Now, there are two fan gans that have done something either similar or they have done this exact talent. Um, Danganronpa Rebirth, one of my favorite fan gans, by the way, had the ultimate DJ in that game. Uh, his name was Hego. Great character, loved him. He had broccoli head. He was a broccoli head. Like his head looked like a thing of broccoli. You know what I mean? It looked cute. Cute character. And then in Brave Danganronpa Coward's Paradise, they actually have an audio technician character and that one named Hibiki. And I loved that character to death. Honestly, the Danganronpa Coward's Paradise audio technician is kind of what I would like the Ultimate DJ to be like if they were to have the talent in a main game. But I feel like Ultimate DJ would definitely be awesome to have. Maybe Ultimate Audio Technician would be awesome because I think that's more modern, you know what I mean? I don't think there's a lot of DJs nowadays. I think there's more audio technicians, right? Like that's more of a modern thing. I don't think people really DJ as much as they used to anymore. Like, you know, the classic DJ with the turntables and they're scratching and stuff like that. I don't think people really do that anymore. You kind of just play your, your Spotify playlist. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that there's no DJs in the world. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that DJs are just useless, but I feel like more people become audio technicians now than they do DJs. Does that make sense? But yeah, if they were going to have the ultimate DJ in the game, I would want them to be pretty similar to Hibiki. Very cute, very clumsy very naive i think naive is the one that i'm looking for yeah so kind of like hagakere i'm like super big into music like music is my life like i could sit here and talk about music forever y'all like i'm surprised i'm not in the music industry in some kind of way i kind of wish i was low-key i'm not talking about singing or anything but like even like behind the scenes stuff like an audio technician or a dj or something like that i kind of wish i did do those kinds of things so any characters that involve music in games like this i usually gravitate towards immediately like in SDRA 2, I love the twins, Hibiki and Kanade. And in Super Danganronpa 2, I love, absolutely love Ibuki Miyota. So yeah, give me an ultimate DJ, please. Number four on the list is ultimate makeup artists. Guys, I need this. I really do need this. I feel like an ultimate makeup artist character would be very cute. I mean, the ultimate cosmetologist, makeup artist, something like that, please. I would like to see that. I would want them to be like a bubbly character, kind of like an Angie type character, but maybe like an Ibuki character too. Like something like that personality wise. And they're just like really cute and just very in your face. The crazy thing about it is I think in my last video, I don't hold me on this. I could be completely wrong. I wanted an ultimate cosplayer, right? In that video, I do believe I did. Or maybe I put it as like an honorable mention or something like that. But I wanted an ultimate cosplayer and we did get that in V3, but I wasn't too big on the character herself. Sadly, I didn't like Samugi that much. Sorry. I mean, she's a she's a good villain, but like I 
didn't really gravitate towards her until like the end of the game but i felt like she was very annoying like throughout the entire thing of v3 i was just not feeling her until the end which makes sense right because i mean the whole entire time she said that she was playing so yeah she pretty much was playing throughout the entire game until the end so she lived up to who she said she was it's a plain Jane. So since I got my ultimate cosplayer, I need my ultimate makeup artist, please. I'd love to see that. Number three on the list is ultimate con artist or ultimate broker. Now I was inspired for this talent in particular from the character in SDRA2 named Shobai. Shobai is, oh my God, such a well-written character. Let me tell you, if the ultimate con artist could be a thing in the next Rampa game and was written sort of in the way of Shobai, I don't want to put out any spoilers out there, but if you haven't played SDRU 2 or you haven't watched it for yourself, let me tell you, Shobai is such a freaking perfect character. They wrote him so well in that game. Oh my God. I, I wish I could spoil it, y'all. But I feel like an ultimate con artist could be a really fun character because they could be kind of neutral, right? Because they could kind of be like a villainish character, but then at the same time work on the side of the heroes. So I kind of like a character that can be a double agent. I wouldn't want them to be a Kokichi character or a Nagito character, not like that. I want this person to just kind of be in the middle where sometimes you're like, oh, I really like this guy because he's helping us out. But then at other times you're like, oh, wait, he's not helping us out. This kind of sucks. And then you have this tug of war throughout the whole entire game. And then at the end, it kind of leaves you where you're like, wait, were they good or were they bad? <laughs> Characters that are well-written that I feel like I have to change my perspective all the time on them is very cool. But like I said, well-written, not just crazy or just lying all the time just for the heck of it. I want them to be well-written. Number two on the list, ladies and gentlemen, I want this so bad, is the ultimate pyrotechnician. This character could be wacky, could be fun, could just be full of life. Brave Danganronpa Coward's Paradise has a character pretty similar to what I'm thinking about. They have the ultimate bomber. Even though we've only seen like the prologue of her character, she is super fun and just wacky. Kind of like a Harley Quinn type character. And that's what I want, right? I want a character that's like Harley Quinn, where you don't really know what to expect from them. Like one minute they're thinking this, but in the next they're like, no, I'm doing this actually. I, I, I love that. That's why I'm so drawn to Harley Quinn as a character in the DC comics, because if you know about Harley Quinn and you know her backstory and stuff, like she is a very well put together, uh, what, what would she be like an anti-hero or villain? This particular character could possibly be like a Miyu Iruma type character, for sure. Especially towards like, like if you let them live for a while, like towards the end of the game, I feel like they could do some really wacky stuff with the storyline with this particular character. Ultimate Pyrotechnician, I think is a pretty dope talent all around. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Now the last talent that I would wanna see in Danganronpa is the Ultimate Theorist, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like that could be a pretty fun, like smart character to have. I would want them to be really snooty, maybe kind of like a Togami. And I feel like this character could play like a big role, especially in class trials. My thing about it though, I don't want them to be super smart like Kirigiri or anything like that, where it's like, oh, I know everything. You know what I mean? I don't want that. But I do want them to be like a key student, you know, that helps out the protag and probably like dies like later on in the game. I definitely want to see them die though. I think we've seen know-it-all characters prevent fail like too much in the Danganronpa series that we finally need to see one like fail. Wouldn't that be nice? I feel like SDRA2 did that very well. For the people that have watched Super Danganronpa another two, you know what I'm talking about. There's a particular character in that game who was like a know-it-all character and kind of had like a super OP talent where it's just like, you need to die because I don't want you to be another Kirigiri. So yeah, that's all I really got. That is my top five talents that I want to see in the next Danganronpa. Tell me what you guys want to see in the next Danganronpa. What are the talents that y'all want to see? You can give me five, 10, 15, 20, I don't care. Just give me as many as you can think of off the top of your head. I have a ton more on my phone. I just kind of picked the five that I was really thinking that was like the best I really, really, really would want to see. But I wrote about 30 on my phone. I was just like going in. I was like, this is all that I want. Like there's a lot of talents that they haven't done yet in Danganronpa where I'm just like, oh my God, bro. Like why haven't they done these ones yet? What are you doing? What are you waiting on? What the heck? So I'd like to know what the fans, the viewers like you guys, 
would like to see. Thank you guys again for all of the support. I truly appreciate it with the last couple of videos. I know I haven't been doing Let's Plays recently and a lot of people were kind of like mixed on that, but it seems like you guys are really enjoying the content recently and I truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet. Like, what are you doing? Why haven't you hit the subscribe button? I know you've been to this channel a few times and you haven't hit subscribe. What, what are you doing? And comment down below your guys' thoughts on the video and also the talents that you would like to see in Danganronpa. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hope will never die.